You can't actually go to the Ottawa Art Expo's uh, gala tonight, but you can start going tomorrow because it's pretty much sold out. It's a wonderful event that happens at the St. Elias Banquet Centre. Joining us to talk about the event or one of the event organizers, Ross Rion. Great to have you uh, here. Thanks very much. And also a very celebrated artist here in the city, uh, Philip Craig. Great to have you here as well. Thank you. I will let you uh, give us the rundown because I know everything gets underway uh, starting tomorrow uh, over at St. Elias. Yeah, the event is open to the public 10 to 5, Saturday, Sunday at the St. Elias Center, 750 uh, Ridgewood Avenue, right across from Mooney's Bay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free to the public and there's free parking as well. So we've got a wide range of artists from all over Ottawa, Montreal, and Toronto actually. It, I, I've been to this expo. It is beautiful to see the collection and the, the variety of, of artists and paintings that are available, and pretty much a lot of different mediums, too. You've got everything from, you've got a bit of photography, sculpture, you've got everything from abstract to uh, hyper-realism, so, and a wide range of uh, budget. I mean, there's we've got paintings from $100 to 20000 so whatever your budget is, whatever kind of art you like, I'm sure you'd find something at the expo. I think what's also interesting is to be able to talk to the artist, and I think people are always interested in asking questions as to how things uh, Happen. Sure, you, you can meet the, all the artists are going to be there, yeah. and, and there's it's a very low pressure environment. You, there's no one there, no salespeople that are pushing you to buy things. You can come, you can meet the artists, you can talk to them. You can even go online prior to coming uh, to our Ottawa Art Expo website and preview the artists there, see bios and images. Uh, I think a lot of people are very familiar with your images, uh, Philip, and I think for you, is it interesting to see the art community here grow? I mean, you've been such a, a oh, stable the foundation here, really here. Absolutely, because as, as people get to know artists, they get to know art, and uh, it's good for business. That's, mm. um, it's, uh, it enriches the community. I think it's a, a, good, a good pillar of support for the community. I'm going to back off here so you can see, because people will be quite familiar with, uh, with Philip's work. You're also recognizing Philip for, for other things besides just the wonderful talent that he has. Yeah, this uh, Friday, Philip's going to be awarded the Lucille Broadband Award um, at the uh, Gala, which is uh, named after the uh, wife, uh, late wife of uh, Ed Broadband. The award recognized kind of an unsung hero award. It goes to, to people that have made a significant contribution to the arts and the community without really having received any recognition for what they've done. For, in Philip's case, it's for his work in Haiti and Guatemala and all the charitable work he's done actually over the years probably raised close to a million dollars for various charities. I, I can think that. I think <laughs> any real, you know, any gala, there's always usually something uh, on auction from Philip. What does this mean to you? I mean, especially, too, for the work that you've been doing with these children oh, I and, think and it's, schools. It's, it's fantastic. Well, the real, the real joy is, is when you do something and uh, you realize that you've done something. Because uh, a lot of the time you, you, uh, you know, send the paintings places and you really don't hear back and, and so on. But, but uh, to be able to do something like in Guatemala or, or Haiti, to actually go there and see it, it's, it's quite a profound experience. And, and you do realize you can't do enough, but at least you're doing something. So. And, and probably to feel the expression from the children or from your students that don't normally have an opportunity to express themselves on paper or with paints. Yeah. A nice experience for you to oh, have that? Oh yeah, so it's fun. It's fun for sure. And that's the whole thing. Have a good time. And <laughs> <laughs> produce and live, you know, see. And you know, can we, I want to look at this oh, poster this too, because this, this is another project that you <laughs> yeah. guys had. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine is a surgeon, and, and he's part of an organization called Operation Walk, an international group, and uh, they go to uh, Guatemala and, and other places and uh, donate their time and effort as surgeons and, and anesthesiologists and, and uh, so on nurses and they um, do like 60 uh, knee and hip replacements in, in one one short space of time and and I was talking to him and I said oh I like to support things you know what's this all about and he said well we're short about sixty thousand dollars for this project and so I said uh, I was walking with my wife after and she was uh, oh, don't mind saying this was turning 60 <laughs> And so she said, why don't you do 60 for 60? So I said, okay, so I, this is 60 paintings produced and they were, they were purchased uh, sight unseen by people and I had a little gal at my studio and a big turnout. And, uh, and there you have it, they sold 60 it. Yeah, and 1,000, like that. that's yeah. that is impressive. <laughs> yeah, so, so amazing so work that's being done. Boom, it was done, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it, great concepts like that, beautiful work. I want to speak, show people, Ross, your work as well. This is really beautiful shot and this Thank is you. Ottawa this is taken yeah, from archive shots yeah this is um, after the Parliament building fire in 1916 the Parliament buildings were rebuilt in their current configuration for some reason this was the last bell ringing in the fire and the workers 
took it back up to the top, rang it out across the city. That's they're hitting it with sledgehammers, and then took it down. I guess it was a symbol of because uh, I guess World War One was going on. It was a symbol of the spirit of Canada would not be defeated. So I, I found it in the archives. That was a very interesting uh, image. It, it really is, and a beautiful painting. Congratulations you very on much. your work as well. You have an opportunity to see. A variety of artists taking part at the Ottawa Art Expo, the show getting underway with their gala on Friday night, heading into open to the public on Saturday and Sunday. Free admission, free parking, something you definitely want to be able to check out at St. Elias Banquet Centre.